We are just leaving Urbana. We had a quick stop there at a free dock that we were able to use. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi wasn't working. We had no cell service. So we needed to get some stuff done and we couldn't. So we are moving on. We are headed back to Deltaville. And we're going to be in a slip there for a couple of days while we wait out this ex-hurricane to go past. So we've just uh, pulled into Norton's Marina and they were kind enough to let us use the vehicle to go grab some pizzas and we're going to hang out for a week. Watch the storm passing through. See how stained the boat is after doing the ICW. Nice brown, brown color all over. So now we have to figure out how to clean that off without putting too many chemicals into the water. It's looking a lot better. Now I just need to do the dinghy. Oh my goodness. So today is the day we're supposed to get some weather from ex-tropical hurricane, cyclone, whatever it was. It's been quiet all morning and here it comes now. We are out sailing again today on the bay. We just left Deltaville and we're going cruising with our friends. There, they're real sailors because they got all their sails up. We just got our jib out. We're going to be cruising downwind today, headed towards Solomon's, I believe, or Reedville. So we're heading up that way. So we're just going to run downwind with the jib today. Easier when Micah wakes up. We were lazy and didn't put up our main sail, so this is what happens when you don't have the main up. Whee! Motor sailing along, trying to keep up with Gio, the racing boat driver. So we're cruising with the wind, doing around six and a half, seven and a half knots. We've got a little bit of wave action rolling us around occasionally, but fairly comfortable now. Should be there in about two hours, hour and a half. We're just coming into Mill Creek, dropping our sails. We're going to anchor here for the night and then continue on to Solomon's in the morning. Looks like it's going to have some nice protection once we get in the river. It's a little bit sloppy out here at the moment. What do you think, Jazzy? We're here. What do you think, Micah Man? Hi. To Solomon's. A little bit of a busy, busy spot around here. Yeah. We're nice and dark. Right here at a nice tea dock. Lyle's waiting to help our friends. Again! <laughs> Bye, Jiho. Thanks again for everything. Bye, Joni. Have a safe trip, huh?
Jack, be quiet, please. So we're going to hang out here in Solomon's for the rest of the day. We're going to do some exploring and then maybe head out to an anchorage before moving on tomorrow. We just moved over from Sennheiser's Marina to Mill Creek, I believe it is. So this is our anchorage for the night. Beautiful sunset and a yellow duck inside. We just left Solomon's this morning. Heading north towards Annapolis kind of area. We'll see how we go, where we end up stopping, if we stop before Annapolis or actually get all the way to Annapolis. Wind is going to be 15 to 20 from the south today, so it's a good day to go north. But it might be a bit lumpy out there. So we will see how far we get. Cruising up to towards Annapolis. Having some lunch, listening to the security messages from the Coast Guard every three and a half seconds. We spent most of the day sailing north up the bay, but we just turned around and dropped the main, and now we're motor sailing under jib and about 2000 RPM, doing just over seven knots. Trying to get far enough north to miss the cell going behind us here. And then we've got about another two hours till we get to our anchorage for the night. This is our anchorage for the night. It is called Harness Creek. That is South River or South Creek just out there. We are just south of Annapolis. And we're going to head up there tomorrow in the morning and check that out. It's a nice little nature kind of area back here. Some nice walking trails and parks. Motoring up towards Annapolis today. I'm gonna to grab a mooring for the night, check out the town a little bit, and then continue on to Baltimore in the morning. Or tomorrow sometime. Here are some facts about Annapolis. Annapolis was the first capital of the United States, and it is still the sailing capital of the United States. The city is home to the country's Naval Academy, and it's one of the least populated state capitals in the country. And they definitely love eating crabs here. We just made it to Annapolis this afternoon. And we're going to check out the Naval Academy now. Go for a walk around with tour guide Jazzy. Mike, are you ready for a ride? Are you having fun? Just we had a walk through the Naval Academy and now we're heading into town. What are we going to see, Jazzy? Speak loudly so your viewers can hear you. We're headed towards the state capitol house. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> we're still exploring Annapolis. Jazzy is taking, I'm taking Jazzy out for a celebratory dinner tonight mm. or a I don't know what's the opposite of celebrity because <laughs> Jazzy got a job so it's gonna be just me and Micah having fun from now on <laughs> just leaving Annapolis headed to Baltimore and there's a little bit of traffic out on the water today we keep our eyes open a little bit
making our way into Baltimore and heading down into the Inner Harbour where we're going to spend some time in the Anchorage Marina. We're going to be able to see through them. This is a project I've been meaning to do for a while, is clean these port lights with some headlight cleaner. It worked well, it could be better, maybe with a better product, but it looks good. Of course it wasn't all boat projects and hard work. We got to hang out with some good friends and eat some good food, but it's a boat. You gotta fix stuff. We just swatched, swapped out that sea strainer and for a new one, and we bought a new screen for this one, because it's got a little hole in it. We are still in the marina in Baltimore. Got a little bit of wind coming through today and tomorrow, I believe. Let's see what it's blowing. 20s. Last time I checked, it was 27. It's a little bit of wind around. But we are safely tied to the dock, so we are not worried at all. Hopefully, it's not doomsday. But the sky looks crazy. Look over this way, it looks a little bit more pleasant on this side. Thanks for watching another episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Join us next week as we start our journey south. And as always, if you'd like to follow along, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And if you found any value in this video, please check us out on patreon.com forward slash summer rules. See you next time.